Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Sean's Shave Den. I am Sean. Um, today's products is going to be the same products that I used yesterday for my head shave. I'm going to be a little bit more reviewy of Perasso um, Azor Lime Shave Cream, which comes in a tube like this, and I'll get the box. Hold on. It's their barber uh, line of shave shaving cream that they uh, made specifically for barbers. And I bought this um, at westcoastshaving.com. For the aftershave, I'm gonna be using Fair's Witch Hazel, the lemon, and then I'm also gonna be using the Azor Lime uh, aftershave balm as well. For the uh, brush today, which I have soaking right now, is gonna be, I'm gonna be using my boar brush my Samoke, I forget what the number of number brush it is or what, what the what the actual name of the brush is, but this is my Samoke bore brush. And uh, let me get this uh, in the bowl and lathered up and on my face, and I'll get ready with the shave. Oh, the hardware uh, that I'm going to be using, which I've I'll link below in the comment section over there or not comment, the description section, uh, the time when I did an actual review of this, uh, full on review of this razor, but this is the charcoal, uh, or not charcoal, sorry, my mistake, Carbon Shave Co. Uh, 316 L uh, marine grade stainless steel um, shaving, uh, shaver or razor. And uh, as you can see right here, it has everything on the bottom, if you could see it. Anyway, uh, I'll link a, a video on the review of that particular razor down below, um, but for now, it's mostly a review on the soap. Anyway, let me get this lathered up on my face. I'll be right back, and we'll get started with the shave. Okay, back, and I got it all lathered up, as you can see in the brush and in the bowl over here. My Pereira shave bowl comes up with a really nice lather. Now, as I said in my previous video for the head shave, this this cream, as far as lime scent, this is one of my favorite lime scents of all time. Um, really good, non-traditional lime scent. Uh, it's got a little bit of extra other stuff in there. I'll put the uh, scent description down below in the description. And uh, let me get started. I got about two days worth of growth, a little over two days worth of growth. And this is a Gillette Masset blade on a second use. I used it um, yesterday on my head, head shave. I've been really liking the Parasso creams. Uh, especially this one in particular. Um, I do, I, as far when I say Parasso creams, I've only tried this cream in particular. The other creams I haven't tried, um, but I do believe this is a different formula than their original uh, creams, like their eucalyptus and their uh, sandalwood one. I do believe it's a different formula. It's a little bit more slicker. As I said, this one is specifically made for barber shops. That's why it comes in such a big tube. I don't think you could find a smaller tube of this out there, to be honest with you, unless you're in Italy or something. But I'm really liking the slickness on this cream. And honestly, it's uh, the, the post shave isn't that bad, especially when you use the balm. which on most creams, you're gonna feel a little bit of a drying sensation. But um, this cream is really easy, really easy to lather, really slick, both residual and, um, and primary. And it gives you a good amount of cushion 
on sliding the blade across your face. But the cream itself is very cheap. I've had experience with their soaps. I really love their soaps, especially the green and the white. For those of you that don't know the difference between the soaps and the creams, the creams are a little softer. They usually come in the tubes, for Paraso anyway. I've seen other creams in tubs, like in Captain, Captain's Choice, and those are considered creams. They usually tend to be very soft and a little bit easier to load onto your brush than soaps. My wife's talking to her friends on the uh, phone, as you can see, as you can hear. Noisy. I just got back. I went to work because I'm working on a qualification, uh, two qualifications in particular. And before we take our boards to to get the receive the earn the call, uh, the learning officer over here administers us a test that we, we could take home or we could do on our own in, in the office. I just find it's easier, for me anyway, to do it at the office. Especially when nobody's in for the work week. And there's like a hundred questions on it very hard uh it's not hard I, I i shouldn't say that it takes time because he wants you to look up all the regulations in the book in the regulation books which can be very difficult sometimes especially when you're getting rushed to do it and let me get ready for the second pass and i'll finish up the uh, conversation and the shave all right be right back, let me lather it. Okay, back for the second pass. Uh, I'll just do two passes on camera and then the third pass I'll do on my own and then I'll be back for the post shave. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. Plenty of cream in the brush and that wasn't, it was about a dime size. of the cream in the tube that I used to uh, create this lather, but there's plenty for two more passes really even. So back to what I was saying. He makes these tests that are done on your own time under your own accord. And I've kind of taken my time on doing these tests. I didn't really need the qualifications. I just like to get as much as I can so I could be useful to the Coast Guard. And I have quite a bit of qualifications under my belt already. So I'm already pretty useful. Um, but I like to I like to further my knowledge. So I was on the last fifteen questions throughout yesterday and today. On my tests and I finished them up uh, today, this morning, really. So nothing left to do on that one. I just gotta turn the tests in to the guy that administers them. 
and then I got to take my board or schedule a board to be taken for both the qualifications. Um, so that's another process. So I've kind of been uh, kind of been dragging my feet on doing this because I've been worried about other things like the test for moving up in rank, which is coming up in May again. I didn't do as good as I, I wanted to do. Score-wise, I did really well um, on the test for making rank. Score-wise, I did very well. Um, any other job or MOS or rating in the Navy and the Coast Guard, I would have been top, like, top five on the test. But with a score of 118 out of 150, and these tests aren't meant for you to get 150 on it. They're really just meant to separate people so they can put them on a list on rank and order on when they will be making rank. And out of 300 people that took the test, I got number 30 on the test, which as I said, in any score and also place-wise, in any other rating or any other MOS, I would be golden. I'd be making e, E6. That's the rank that I'm going for right now. No problem whatsoever. Unfortunately, my rating is very, uh, very tough to move up in right now. We have, we have a lot of people that, unlike most of the services, Coast Guard is very different. Is uh, there's a lot of people that stay in for the full 20 years or longer, which in other services you usually have people get in, they get out of the service in four years or six years or however long their contract is, and you have very few people that stay in. Um, but in the Coast Guard and especially in my rating we have a really big retention rate. So there's a lot of people, that's the third, that's the second pass, really nice. Um, so there's a lot of people, at one time they were moving up in rank really quickly. So there's a lot of E7s, E8s, and warrant officers and stuff like that in my rank, or in my rating, that have only been in for 15, 16 years. Um, because they made so fast that they're starting to block up the rating. And um, they're not getting out for another 10, 12 years, really. A lot of them are staying in for almost 30 years so they could collect more of their pension when they retire. So there's a lot of incentives to stay in. Um, and us being a service where we don't normally get uh, deployed overseas, it's more job oriented in a way because even during wartime and during peacetime, we are always working regardless, unlike the Army, Navy, where they're really just doing training and stuff like that. So more job oriented. There's a lot more jobs out there when we get out that are available to us than most of the other services. Um, and anyway, it's a very, it's very rough time to move up rank. I think for the last test, they only made out of 300 people that took the test, 15 people. So uh, number 30 on the test for me is not very good. Um, it's great in the grand scheme of things, but it's not enough to move up in rank. Anyway, that was the second pass. Let me get done with this third pass and I will be right back with the post shave. All right, bye. Okay, back for the post shave. And as you can see, I got a nice BBS shave. Let me dry the face off a little bit. For the newbies, when you dry your face off, pat it dry. Don't rub it, it just irritates the skin. Um, just pat it dry with a towel. 
And then for the post shave, to begin with, I'm gonna be using Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Shake that up. And apply it just like an aftershave. I apply fairly liberally. Um, Thayer's is fairly cheap for a good amount of it. And I use it all the time, even when I don't shave. Um, really helps the complexion of your face and tone up your skin a little bit. It acts as an astringent and cleans the pores out a little bit too. Anyway, so that's, that's good for the aftershave. Now for the aftershave balm. Paraso Azer Lime uh, Matching Aftershave Balm. And smells exactly like the soap. And get that on my hands and on my face and head. And nice BBS smooth shave. Feeling good and smelling good right now. Um, the scent on this doesn't last very long, but throughout the day you could get little hints of the lime. Um, and it's still nice and relaxing, which is good because I don't plan on doing much today. I don't need to smell like a French whore throughout the day, uh, today at least. I do smell like a French whore sometimes, but regardless. Anyway, um, hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you later. Um, please, if you aren't already subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to Sean's Shave Den. Uh, leave a like and a comment below if you wanna uh, uh, talk to me. I will try and uh, answer your questions as quickly as possible or if you just wanna say hi. Um, perfectly okay by me. It helps um, get the channel uh, out there as well uh, and puts it on the top in YouTube for um, uh, videos that show people that are looking for YouTubers like me. Um, anyway, hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.